Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. Um, my name is Jason, if you're not familiar, and we want to talk to you today about something that has been well documented, I think, throughout our year. Because we've dealt with issues from some pesky rabbits. Okay, mostly rabbits. I think probably all rabbits, maybe some, some bug pressure, but mostly rabbits that have ate beans, <laughs> ate, ate a little bit of tomatoes, mostly beans, and and oh, and some watermelons, and or melons in general, cantaloupes and watermelons both. But I want to talk to you today about persevering in the garden, even when things don't go exactly as you planned. Sometimes you'll start off your season and you'll, like, like us, we'll say, oh, I'm planting all these melons, we're going to grow a lot of melons. We're going to grow a lot of beans. We're going to grow a lot of tomatoes. We're going to grow a lot of peppers. We always grow a lot of peppers and tomatoes and beans. And as you can see behind me, the tomatoes are doing absolutely fabulous. And while this row of beans looks really good on down the line, here below me, yeah, Destruction. <laughs> absolute destruction. These beans were on this trellis at one time. Now look at them. Then they were ate off there. And then they regrowed and we're trying to get back on the trellis and look at them. And this entire section right here, nothing but waste, utter waste. Now these two beans, he missed. <laughs> the couple of these he missed. And he went on some of these he ate even right off the trellis. And he missed these, I think. Yeah, I think, so. I'm not sure. Then he got all of these, everything there, all the way down to here. Nearly 12 feet of beans. <laughs> and that is the third time we planted. It's disheartening, right? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a whole lot of time and money wasted on these beans just to have a rabbit jump through our electric fence, take the shock, not care, just to go get them beans. And even down here in the contenders, these, these bush beans, he jumped in and ate the, ate the ends off. Ate these. Here. Here. I could really go through and, and document a lot of spots that he's, that, that one or two rabbits, I'm not really sure because a lot of rabbits look similar have gotten in here, not cared about taking the shock, and just absolutely ate their fill of beans. And for people who really love green beans, who really depend on those, who enjoy growing them a lot, it can be disheartening. But, that's a big but. Okay, that's a big but. And I won't, do not want to be crazy negative about this. There's also successes and positive things to look at in the garden as well. Like these potatoes, for instance. Now we don't know what's in there because it's below the dirt. But the, but the plants grew better, they bloomed better. They've done better than ever for us. And so the belief would have to be that we've got more potatoes or taters in there than we've ever done before. And behind me, we've got a crazy amount of sweet potato vines <laughs> because they're doing really, really well. And we've got some tomatoes back here that will blow your mind. This is uh, the purple rain tomato, okay? Look at that. These are all blossoms on one uh, floor, multi-flora, okay? Flora is the thing that produces the blossoms, the stems there. So this is one massive multi-flora of blossoms. We've got three of those purple rain tomatoes they stay really strong fairly upright they're, they're leaning over because a little bit of water and because they're just really heavy but they're a three foot they're going to get like three foot tall we've never grown them before and they're producing a massive amount of blossoms they're supposed to be like you know six to ten ounce possibly i've heard maybe six ounce tomatoes but they say as high as ten ounce so i'm thinking could be as small as four could be as big as eight but they're producing a massive amount of these blossoms and really starting to set tomatoes. As you can see here, there's tomatoes in here setting, okay? Tomatoes growing, 
all through there. And the branches, the tops are widening out. Sometimes that'll give you a clue about how big the tomato can get. And so they are widening out quite a bit. That's extraordinarily positive. We've got a lot of beautiful things happening as well. Huge amount of Roma tomatoes. Looking wonderful. Another extremely positive thing, which by the way, those Roma, those Roma tomatoes, it's the same variety we have. That we replanted another 15 plants of. So we got three varieties there, or three plants over there. We got 15 more that we've replanted to grow for late season harvest. They grow like that. It's a lot of tomatoes. Another negative thing would be this green stalk. The green stalk itself is not negative. Let's be clear about that. But these cucumbers, we had envisions of 12 beautiful cucumber plants and they have been destroyed by heat and bug pressure. I do want to be clear. It's not the plant. It's not the planting medium or the planting method that uh, caused the problem with these cucumbers. We've, we've, <laughs> you see, we planted them in a spot that gets a ton of sun and it's been really hot and dry and there's been cucumber beetle pressure on them as well. There's been so multiple things have happened there that really caused the problem with those cucumbers. And as you're gonna see here above me somewhere, my mother-in-law planted cucumbers in a green stalk, the same method, same variety that we planted and they're doing darn good, very, very good. She's having extremely large success with them, but hers get a little bit of shade and she hasn't had cucumber beetles all over them. Also in this green stalk, we've got these geranium kissed tomatoes. They're producing a ton of tomatoes. Now, these are supposed to be smaller tomatoes, like one, two inches big. Like, so like right here, more right here. A really big one right here. <laughs> it's good size. A really big one right here. That's a, that's a big one for a geranium kiss. Then a lot up here, another big one, see? So the point is, okay, maybe some things don't go the way you want. Maybe some things are outside of your, outside your control. Maybe they just don't go as well as you planned. Keep trying, <laughs> keep persevering. Look at the positive things that are going on. Okay, maybe so there's nothing positive. <laughs> okay, well, learn. Learning is positive, right? And while our peppers normally do better than they're doing, there's still positive things to be had. These peppers normally are about up to here by now and have produced a lot more peppers or have a lot more peppers growing. Is that due to the dry heat that we've had, or is, and, or is it due to an animal tunneling under them? Because I know that's happening. I've seen tunnel the tunnels above the grounds. I've seen plants moving <laughs> because there's something under there. So did it tunnel under there and, and disturb the roots and kind of shear off the roots? Good possibility. So if it does that in combination with being really dry and hot, it's gonna be really tough for the peppers to, to grow much. But while the peppers aren't doing quite as good as they used to, they are recovering by the way, these tomatoes behind me are doing better than ever. These beautiful Amish paste tomatoes right here are massive. And a good sized tomato. And the ability to get larger. See, my stem on top of it really showing it really widened out. There's a beautiful cluster of carbon tomatoes. Absolutely delicious tomatoes. And there's a lot of examples like that. We have 32 tomato plants in the garden. I'm not showing you all of them, but they're doing wonderful. Cherokee purple tomatoes, doing better than they've done for us in the last two or three years. Uh, and that's Angela's favorite, so that's vastly important to me. We have a beautiful zucchini growing. We have a lot of female blossoms of yellow squash growing right here. Again, more positives. Be positive. Well, there can be a lot of negative things that happen to you. One thing I'm positive of, <laughs> nice play on words, right? One thing I'm positive of is that the enemy, the devil, the world necessarily, who's under control of the enemy, wants you to be negative. They want you to be, they want you focused on the bad things, not the good things. Because if you're focused on the bad, then you get depressed, you're not happy, you're not joyful. You don't see all the beautiful blessings in life that God has given you. So I'm gonna to choose to look at a beautiful grove of beans growing that the rabbit can't get to. I'm gonna focus on a beautiful six by six raised bed of winter squashes. And while the rabbit ate a lot of our melons, here's one that has survived and it's grown really well. Here's another that survived and it's growing really well. It gets tough when you really wanted to grow 
a lot of something. And something has happened out of your control because we've done everything we can do to protect some of this stuff. And that rabbit is very persistent. So while things happen that are out of your control, you need to understand that you're doing everything you can do, right? You're trying, I mean, just things happen that's out of your control. So while it's persistent and things happen there persistently, you need to be persistent as well. And just keep going because bad things can happen in life and gardening and whatever, but you have to persevere. You can't fold and just give up. You can't say, well, I've tried two or three times. I guess I'm just gonna waste the rest of my year. I'm not doing that. I ain't about that. Angela's not about that. Persevere. The Bible says that perseverance produces character. And then character, hope. So if you persevere, it's gonna strengthen your character, give you more hope. And there's always joy and find that hope. There's joy in beautiful basil. A lot of beautiful basil that Angela will probably do a video on soon. And there's a lot of joy and hope in this right here. More, more squash and zucchini, more tomatoes, beautiful, beautiful tomatoes, more fresh rosemary, more beans growing in a green stalk. It was like the other day, Angela found all those beans just sheared off, just completely destroyed, and she's disappointed. But then she's walking through the yard and found this chamomile growing wild in the yard. Very strange. Don't really know why it's growing here. It's not, it's not, uh, very common for it to grow wild in our area. But yet we have some wild chamomile and Angela likes chamomile. So <laughs> now I can't mow this part of the yard <laughs> because she wants to make sure we have that, she has that chamomile. So she harvested some the other day. And while she was disappointed in that, she took joy in this and that just brightened her day up. See, if we just folded up shop and didn't replant, didn't envision doing more, didn't just keep trying, then probably have less but you keep trying keep trying you keep trying you got to persevere and understand that you'll come out on the other side and it's going to be positive because you're going to win you keep trying you're going to win eventually but you got to persevere and you can't can't let bad things or just disappointing things not even bad just disappointing letting disappointment in the garden keep you from trying if you let every disappointment in life keep you from trying, you're just gonna live a disappointed life. And that's nothing God wants you to do either. So thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. My name is Jason. This is our Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you and goodbye.